Hello everybody, my name is Oxify and we are back with Twitch Streamer Bot. Now today we are going to tackle a little bit more of the voice controls and show you how to set up some voice controls for some fun and unique things that you can do with it. Uh, for example, if you do not have a uh, stream deck or equivalent, or if you're a VR streamer and you want to switch scenes and you do not really want to go take the headset off or even go into a menu like without the Oculus overlay or the Quest 2 overlay, which is the Quest that I'm, the headset that I'm using. So I'm going to show you how to use the voice control. So first of all, make sure that you are connected to your Twitch in order to make sure that the thing works properly. Go over to your voice control. You'll see that there's commands. If you do not have any commands set up yet for voice controls, it will be empty. Go to your settings. If it says start listening and it is, and stop listening is grayed out, just start listening and it will start listening for the voice activated commands. Also, just click on auto start and put your confidence threshold at 15. So basically what this happens is every time you open the app or you close the app and you open it again, it will automatically start listening for your voice and whatnot in order to activate those voice commands. Now also make sure that your audio input is set to the correct microphone. For me it is the Scarlett 2i2 microphone. And what we need to go do is create our actions. Now let's say for example I am a VR streamer so I really dislike the fact that I have to go into a menu every time or take the headset off to switch scenes. So what I can do is I can add an action, I'm just going to call this test for now. And we're going to call this under testing. Make sure that it is enabled, leave the rest as is, and we are just going to add our action. And obviously in the previous video we showed you how to connect your OBS or slobs uh, to it. So I'm using OBS. So what I am going to do is I am going to activate a source or activate this set my active scene. So you can see that because my OBS is connected, I am currently in my recording scene. I want to go from, let's say, my starting screen. I want to go from this scene to my starting screen. I'm going to press OK. And then I want to fill, I'm just going to show you how I filter through certain scenes and whatnot. So this is going to be a bit more of a a showcase of what you can do with it. So you're just going to go delay. You're going to make that a three second delay of 3000 milliseconds. And again, we are just going to filter back to our normal uh, recording scene. Uh, so we're just going to go OBS. We're going to set active scene. Uh, set active scene and we're going to go back to our recording. Okay, so now that this is set up, so the action will automatically take us to my starting screen. It will delay it for three seconds and then bring us back to my recording screen if I use the voice command. So under the voice controls, under the commands, I can now go and add another one. I'm going to say this is scene change. And I'm just gonna say change active scene. Okay, and then on the action, we are going to select the test action that we created. And under global, uh, override global, confidence threshold, we're going to make that 15. Okay, so now that we've set this up, if I say the phrase uh, that we have selected, which is to change active scene, obviously it needs to have like a little bit of a pause so I can actually detect what you're saying. It will cycle through that. Now I'm just going to bring my OBS over this way. We're going to give it a second just to equalize out so that we don't have any sound change active scene okay so you see how easy that was so it changed my scene from my recording screen to my starting screen it delayed it for three seconds and then brought it back to us uh, to our recording screen and there's a lot of things that you can actually do with it for example we can even go as far as we can delete all these things we can go to add selection on obs we can even set source visibility states so for this we are going to go again under our source under our test we're going to make it visible we're going to add an action we're going to delay that for let's say five seconds we're going to add an action again under obs or slobs whichever one you use uh, for me, it is, again, it is OBS. We're going to set source visibility state to hidden. 
we're going to change the command now. So under voice control, we're just going to say make source active. Okay, so that is the command that is going to be, be used. So you can see that I've got a test one over there. So just again, we're just going to let it go a little bit. Make source active. See, so now basically what it has done, it has activated that source for five seconds, and then after that five seconds, it is hitting it again. So that is again why I have certain things set up. For example, I've got a victory and a fail sound alert. So if I say that was a victory, it will play like a little victory sound. And again, if I say that something like this, that was a fail. it will play a little fail alert. So also what is quite nice about this bot is, for example, if you uh, have an action that you want to use, uh, for example, I've got, uh, not sure if I want to clip this, I uh, don't think I've actually set that up yet. Uh, let us actually add one under actions. Uh, let's make this uh, highlight their actions and then if you're connected to twitch this is going to actually make it a little easier for you so we want to create a stream marker uh, this is the description so I'm not sure if I want to clip this and now that our action is created we can go to voice commands you can see that the command is set up but there's no action added to it so we're just gonna edit it we're gonna go to our action and we're just going to say highlight, I'm going to say OK. And again, just make sure that your global, global override global threshold is at 15. So now what this does is, for example, how clips and everything works is, if you're not sure you want to clip it, it you can say that phrase, it will add a stream marker onto the, the bot at the end. And then you can go back to that specific time in order to see if it is a clip of the moment or not. And you can also do it with clips as well. Uh, for example, I've got my create clip one. Uh, it will only create a clip of the last 30 seconds, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so it really does help if you are a VR streamer and again, you don't have access to, to your PC at the exact moment and whatnot. And if you want to clip a moment, instead of having to go back in time uh, after the fact to clip it, you can just say the phrase and it will clip it automatically. And again, under your settings, just make sure that auto listen and that it is started. Make sure that your microphone input is correct. And another little tip and trick is if you want to do speech training, um, I think it is under speech recognition settings. Uh, you can set up your uh, mic for speech recognition and you can also do some training stuff as well with it. Um, I really don't have to do that too much because uh, my English is my English accent is not too bad. But if it doesn't recognize your voice, uh, you can actually go um, and do some speech training with your PC and whatnot. Uh, there is quite a few tutorials on that on the internet. So for now, if there is any questions that you guys have, please leave a comment in the uh, below and also leave a like and subscribe if you find this content useful. But for now, bye.